hold it. I took the ball and then I just dropped it because I was going to go inside anyways. And then it came after me, so I ran inside. The teeth on top teeth and then the bottom teeth and then the little teeth. Wes Brown has the teeth marks on his leg yes. to prove it and a bite on the finger. I saw something that looked like my cat at first because it was really dark out. And then I saw the ears and so I started to go inside and then it attacked me on the leg. And then I tried to hit it off my hand, but it got me in the hand. And then I shut the door on it, Ted. It was scary. It was a vicious looking animal. Um, smaller ears than a fox. The snout is different. Um, a, a different tail, too. It was long, but it's not as bushy. These fisher cats are at the Humane Society's Cape Wildlife Center. While they sometimes display a really nasty attitude, it's extremely rare for them to go after a person, especially during a loud kids' pool party. Come on, kitty, 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 kitty. Jane Foster, Rehoboth's animal control officer, actually trying to get the brown family cat inside, away from the trap she's setting for the big guy. I'm trying to see if, if this animal is not acting normally. I, I want it to come back. It, it will probably come back. It was actually hanging on his leg, and he was beating our uh, door on it to get it off him. Five rabies shot down, another series to come. Wes and his parents admitting they are a little concerned about a return visit. Well, I'm definitely very scared like it's the first time I've seen a fisher cat so I'm not exactly sure what it is I wasn't sure if it was a fox or not you don't want to see one again do you no <laughs> <laughs> that's the trap they left to try to get a hold of this and the browns are hoping they never see this thing again in the trap or otherwise hope it never comes back in Rehoboth I'm Jack Harper WCBB News Center 5